Chargers versus Browns. Chargers at the Browns. One o'clock in Cleveland. Great game on our hands here. Tightly graded. Los Angeles laying one and a half on the road and a total hovering in the low 40s. A lot of discussion. Official plays. Junior Brown officially on the Chargers on the money line. Minus 125. Yeah, love the Chargers in this spot. I understand that the Cleveland Browns are coming off a high because they got rid of a sexual predator and got a former crab thief. That's fine. Uh, they can be as excited as they want. Um, and I know it has nothing to do with the fact that I am a Michigan fan. Go blue. And I believe in John Har- uh, Jim Harbaugh. Sorry. It's really to do with the fact that Cleveland had, did not fix any of their problems. They just got what we call a bit of a respite. Their defense, who have been severely overworked because of the incompetence of their offense, just saw a bit of light at the end of the tunnel because they had a a quarterback who, whatever you think of Jameis Winston, he is a professional quarterback. He knows how to make plays. He just has a problem with taking too many chances. And I think that's going to come to rear its ugly head. I think the Chargers are going to control the clock with their running style, and their defense is good enough to shut down the Browns. Give me the Chargers all day, but Shark, I'll let you guys give the guys a little bit more detail as to why you like this play as well. Absolutely. And I'm not a Chargers fan, but in the offseason, I purchased this beautiful print because I completely agree with you. I love Jim Harbaugh, and I love this Chargers team. This is a very talented roster on both sides of the ball that was really handcuffed for three or four seasons by an incredibly mediocre coach, Brandon Staley. Insert Harbaugh. You're seeing the results very quickly. 5-2 and two ATS, 4-0 and oh ATS as a favorite at open. And now you find them favored at Cleveland, which is very noteworthy given preseason expectations. Very strong line here. And you mentioned it. Cleveland's been terrible. But last week, Jameis Winston came on the field was giving an incredibly inspirational speech to the guys, to the sideline reporter, to his religious capacity, to Eminem, to everybody. The guy is an energy box at the highest level, but off of a huge win against Baltimore, a division rival, a huge emotional high, now you have to come back against one of the best defenses in the league that does travel. Further on this, you want to buy low on the Chargers in a beautiful market spot where they are actually still three and four ATS last five. And this is one of those spots where you find a great team that's coming off of a lackluster sample, mostly due to the fact that Justin Herbert was hurt. They will continue their upward movement here. It's a great spot to buy the Chargers and fade Cleveland. Take the Chargers on the road. The buy hat is engaged. Chargers official for Junior and myself, minus 125.